The bathroom and toilet are two environmental spaces that can offer many physical obstacles but also psychological ones, as a person's sense of dignity and independence can be easily compromised if they no longer feel safe or secure. So Rosemary, you were telling me that you were having issues with your favourite chair getting on and off. So I'm wondering um, if you're finding the same difficulty with the toilet and if you can show me how you manage your sit to stand transfer. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. And so if you can stand again for me. It's important that I don't place my own judgement on how a person uses these spaces, but learn what's normal for this individual. And the key to this is seeing how they move around the space and use the objects within it. In the bathroom, I'm looking to see where the person might hold on to for stability. Do they have any grab rails already in place? And I'll record in my notes what style of bathroom they have. Depending on how the bathroom is set up, I will decide what I will get the person to show me. In this case, I can see evidence of wet towels to show that the person is still managing the shower, but that she tends to hold or lean on walls or fittings that are not designed to take a person's body weight. Rosemary, do you have a bath? Not anymore. I last used to love my bath, but I find it very difficult to get in and out these days. Okay, so you're using this shower? I'm here. using the shower all the time, yes. Okay, have you noticed a, a, way, a change in the way that you've been doing your showering lately? Probably hang on to the, 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 the rails and the taps and the glass maybe a bit more than I used to. Okay, all right. Would you like to show me how you manage? Sure. Mm. Okay, do you always hold on to the glass screen? I think so, yes. Yes, mm. okay. And how do you manage washing your feet? I don't, I just give them a good splash and I forget about the soap. Oh, okay, all right. Would you like to come out again? What you may have only seen but not smelt is the strong odour of urine in the toilet probably from the overloaded rubbish with pads and the mat on the floor. Because Rosemary is also struggling with standing and sitting, I wonder if there's a urinary continence issue that would benefit from the continence nurse and a women's health physiotherapist assessment. I have again seen evidence that Rosemary has lower leg weakness as she tends to use objects to pull up when moving from sitting to standing as seen in the toilet when she grabbed the toilet roll holder. I've also observed that transition areas like stepping in and out of the shower, Rosemary likes to hold on to something and in this case it is the towel rail and a shower screen. Seeing this is a prompt to me to conduct a more detailed occupational therapy assessment of the bathroom to consider the type of equipment or modifications that would benefit Rosemary and improve her safety. Rosemary, how about we walk into the bedroom? I'm quite interested to talk to you about um, how often you might use the toilet during the night. Yeah, probably, probably once. Okay, all right, will we move into that area? 